looking for a reliable boat repair center? Look no further. Boatmasters in Livermore has been servicing boats and boat trailers for over 20 years. Conveniently located off of Highway 580 in Livermore, their 10,000 square foot facility has everything you could possibly need, including boat storage, a full boating supply store, a complete tackle shop. This combined with their superior customer service is why Boatmasters in Livermore is the number one choice for your boating and fishing needs. Visit their online store at Boatmasters.com or give them a call at 925-443-5775. That one yeah. is. That one is. There's a good one. Boy, she. Did she hit it the first time? She she bumped it and she knocked slack in it and I missed her. I saw it. And then. She's a pretty one. That is a pretty one. Come here, you. There we go. That's good. Uh, that's good placement, too, right? Is that that same jig you caught the other one on? Yeah, this is that uh, Dandy Bates jig. It's a football head. When I'm fishing kind of offshore a little bit, um, I like to use that football head jig, put a little beaver on the back, make it look like a crawdad. And I use that 20 pound test string fluorocarbon. Whenever I'm snapping that jig, I love that, that 20 pound test string fluorocarbon. You can feel the jig all the time. I'm watching the line, keep a bow in it, snap the bow. That's just a gorgeous bass. So if somebody's coming out here to do that, you want to let that guy go? Yeah, we'll kill her back. Nice. So somebody's coming out here to do this. What type of rod do they need to pair that with? Like I a use, heavy, light? I use a Falcon 176H. And it's just a perfect jig rod. It's seven foot six. It's pretty stout. It's got some tip to it. And then it's got a nice parabolic load right through here. But it's got a, it's got a, little, it's got a little bit of a soft tip. And then when that rod loads up, it's all money. And use that soft tip when you're not really getting punching through the grass. You weren't on the outside edges, so you can let them take it a little bit. The beauty off. of this, the beauty of this, is throw, snap, snap, snap. I got a bow in my line. I'm just, I'm making that jig do this, and then it fall. They always eat it on the fall. So I've got a bow in my line. I'm just kind of snapping the bow. I'm not pulling that jig two, three feet each time. I'm just making that thing hop about that far. Touch the bottom. Your line goes limp, it's got a bow. Pop, pop, pop. It hits the bottom again. You watch it go limp. Snap, snap, snap. And then you'll go to snap, snap, and your jig won't be there. <laughs> like that one right there. And you'll wind, and your line will be moving, just like that guy was. The first time I missed her, threw back over there, snap, snap, snap. That crowd I was jumping, and she, they hit it coming right at you. That is cool. So if you feel the tick, and you set, all you're going to do is grab slack. That's why it's so important to wind that rod, that rod tip just starts to load up like that right there and then you give her the bad news. You use a six to one, seven to one? I like the seven to one. Seven to one, pick, up, pick up that line fast. Good, let's make that happen again. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>